We are in the dead of winter time, but today we actually have a very mild day. And I have some outside work I wanna do before the snow starts to fly again. Here in Pennsylvania, this is how the weather can be. We can have days that it's really cold and snowy, and the next day the snow is melted and we can have very mild days. On the mild days, I try to get some outside work done. I'm going to have a meal and work outside all in the same time because we're gonna cook on an open fire. Cooking on an open fire for me is so much easier because I don't have to worry about the mess in the house. And because of my partly off-grid situation with our water supplies, it's so much nicer to just do all the cooking outside and I don't have to deal with as much cleanup as I normally would. I have my old stock pot and this is a canner kettle that I'm going to use on the open fire and then you're going to watch me do a little work outside. I have to clean up the burn fire pit that I have so I need to do that but we're just going to throw everything together. We're going to make minestrone soup. So simple and easy. I don't have a recipe. I went through all of my cupboards and found things that I want to use up. Little bits of frozen vegetables and I have some carrots and some potatoes some beef broth from the discount grocery store, and then I have some kidney beans. What I'm going to do is I put it all in this stock pot, and then I'm gonna go out and season it as it heats up, and then I will add noodles when it's just about ready to eat. So let me just show you how to throw everything together. We're gonna to go outside and we're gonna do all that, and then I'll show you what the food looks like as we're working on it. And we're going to put the beef broth in here. I use no measurements. Cooking on an open fire is the best way. It has such a different flavor. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of vegetables. Now I just need to cut up some potatoes. All right, we're gonna throw some onions that I had in the freezer. Not too many, we don't like a whole lot of onions, but that's gonna really flavor it good. All right, so I couldn't find any meat, but I did find a whole bunch of frozen tomatoes. We're gonna to put them in here too. Then we're going to add barley to it when it's really starting to cook. Okay, I think I got everything in here that I want. It looks absolutely delicious. And I can't wait when it starts to cook. Now, I'm not adding any seasonings until we go outside. All right, I'll meet you guys outside and let's get that fire started and let's get cooking this soup because I got to get some work done. All right, I have to go get some more wood. Let's get this fire going really good.
something about sitting and waiting for your food to get done. These kind of videos are to entertain you, but also to teach you that if you didn't have any electricity or, you know, different circumstances in your life, how you can do things differently. This is something that our ancestors did on a daily basis. I think there's something really special about just sitting and waiting for a meal to be prepared. Fast food, McDonald's, you know, restaurants, all these places, you want it really quick. But there's something really nice about the old ways of doing things and sitting and just resting while, you're cook while your food is being cooked. I'm very, very happy to have a mild day just to get outside. The vitamin D is good for me. And we'll have a really good, nutritious lunch. It takes a lot longer to cook this way, but the flavor is amazing. When you cook on an open flame, it is, oh, the flavor is absolutely amazing. So it's gonna take about an hour to an hour and a half. The fire is really, I'm having a struggle today and the wood was not wet. It's damp out today. It's, it's like 45 degrees, so it's really damp out. But once I get this fire going, it will cook fast and the fire is starting to get hotter and hotter. I just love this kind of life. I love being outside. I'd rather be outside than inside. And so any reason I can get to be outside, if the weather is half decent enough, I like being out here. And I just love cooking this way. What I need to do is make a big batch of this and then can it someday. But right now, we're just gonna have this for the weekend for our meal. I do have some barley. I will put barley in it because we don't have any meat in it. So I'm not gonna have noodles. Well, I don't know yet. I think the barley is gonna substitute for the noodles. I don't need any noodles if I have barley. Barley is one of these grains that are amazing to have. A little bit goes a long way. So this is what the pearl barley looks like. And I'll put this in the soup about 30 minutes before it's done. And this is absolutely nice to have. So one cup of this is gonna give you a lot of barley and because it swells up to three times the size. Can you smell it? Cause it's cooking now. Oh my word, that smells so good. Lunch is served. So cooking outdoors isn't just for the summertime. Even in the fall, you can cook outdoors in the middle of the winter. Take care everyone and we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye everybody.
flavor of campfire cooking. Mm. Can't bottle that up and sell it. <laughs>